Climate's marching trout, well, they may not be quite the same busy. And I, yeah, I've got it. Yeah, the lot that works. Him and her together, yeah. No, no, uh, by the pool at her place in the country. Yeah, tongues in a reef knot. Yeah, at one point, he's just, uh, has his tail on the nose. Yeah. Look, this is thermonuclear. Perfumer doesn't come into it. My battery's going a bit low, so uh, I'll give you a buzz back when uh, I'll get to Victoria. OK? All right. Sorry about this, sir. Uh, please, sir. Uh, must be in there somewhere. Oh. Anyway, you well? Oh, yeah, I must have slipped that hole in the line. Yeah, cheer up. I just have myself a hundred thousand quid. Uh, <laughs> Give me eighty. Eighty nothing. You agreed a hundred sight unseen. A hundred if the story checked out. Don't mess me around, John. Look, I'm holding in my hand a little stick of dynamite that will blow this country apart. Look, if you're not interested, I have a little phone number in Whopping. I'm sure they... Yes, that's more like it. Hello! Hey, can you put well, me through New York customer? I'll get a cab right away and be over to me. Yeah, on, on, on your, your desk. In... Relations Sorry, I couldn't find... No, 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 I don't want personal. Are you going to talk to someone? I want to complain yeah, about well, your I'll product. I'll just come to you directly. Yes, yeah. the enemy's there. Hang on a second. Hello? Hello? Yes, they were. 55 bloody files they cost me, 55. Put them on brand new this morning to go in holiday and what happens? I'll show you what bloody well happens. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? It's like walking up from the dead halibuts onto your foot. I've never in all my life known such shoddy bloody work. Who are you? Superman's granddad. <laughs> I can't hear myself thinking you're shrieking about like a nothing gibbon. Shrieking? Who the hell is shrieking? Who's shrieking? A hand grenade is off in your mouth and no one is hearing. But I've got some, some, some consideration with the rest of the human race and shut your bleeding trap. Can you quite finish? No. Your socks are too loud as well. Here I am, trying to make an important phone call. Oi! Can't you see this booth is occupied? You're trying to access my mercury yeah, facility and use my... It was right here. What was I supposed to... Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Are you still there? Yes. Well, I can tell you now, you haven't heard the end of this. Who are you phoning anyway? Oh, it doesn't matter. I forgot to cancel the Sunday papers, that's all. Margaret! Mr. Meldrew! We're going to miss it! Yes! Coming! <laughs> Some of them cut on the Sunday papers. That sort of crap they keep filling them with. They need to get away from them for a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Some goon shooting his mouth off Nigel into the dozen. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, uh, if I bring the roll of film round to you... to each other for 13 years, it must be now, but never got round to meeting. The engines have stopped. No, they don't know. Just completely cut out altogether. Yeah. And then, a couple of years ago, he lost his wife, and 
I recently got divorced, and we both thought it was a good chance to take the plunge. Quite an adventure for you. Oh my God, Fowles, did you hear that? What is it now? I just overheard one of those stewardesses whispering to her colleague, we are all doomed. <laughs> <laughs> it went by just then. Why is no one else panicking? Of course, I'd be a bit nervous about going over there on my own. So the three of us decided to rent a little villa and have a bit of a holiday for a couple of weeks. Who's that? Who heard that just then? Spare us. That noise, like the sound of a wing coming loose. <laughs> there was the sound of someone being hit over the head with a bottle of duty-free scotch in a minute. God's sake, get over and try going to sleep or something. How can I go to sleep with all this turbulence? <laughs> How can we have turbulence? We haven't left the bloody runway yet. This is another It'll be a hundred times worse once we're in the air. <laughs> Roads. Fast? Did they exactly crash through the sound barrier in that dual carriageway in Lisbon, didn't they? I mean, that was the ultimate insult being overtaken by two blokes pushing a transit van. <laughs> well, still, it's nice to know that in temperatures of 100 degrees, the car rental firm has thoughtfully provided us with this, isn't it? I mean, does this speak English at that place, for goodness sake? Presumably not, as they're all Portuguese. Yes, everyone else may be melting to death in the roads, but not us, because we have a car with air conditioner. I mean, what in the name of sanity did you think we wanted it for? Make sure the roof rack was more shiny and manageable? Put a lid on it. We're supposed to be on holiday. Just stop moaning and enjoy the scenery. Never going to get to that villa tonight with Nigel Mansell here at the wheel. This will let so they wear when they come. We were just saying whether it's wise to go any further before morning. Jean's dog tired. I wonder if they do rooms here for the night. What was the bus do? Why don't I go and ask? They're just used by Portuguese. Well, a fine start this has been to the proceedings. Oh, he's really we go anywhere. It's just one hideous catastrophe after another. Russia. Cinco years. Good as it's to be. Ah, I feel that I'm seeing my watch. All sorted apparently. I said if I heard this curious me a fair price, he seemed very happy. So I gather he's got a room to show you first, Mrs. Warboy, see if it's still alive. I get first pick to him. Hello. I go with you. Oh yes. yes. <laughs> you look like a very hot lady. Oh yes. I'm not used to your climate, I'm afraid. I just hope, for your sake, this villa is up to scratch when we finally get there. Said all along we should get a place from a proper holiday firm, not a classified ad in Zit magazine. <laughs> That's just a bit of faith. There was a charming little villa that would suit any couple down to the ground. I'd have a bit of faith if the photograph is sent hadn't been touched up with Tipex. Held it up to the light, I swear I could see a condemned sign underneath. Well, I'm telling you now, if we get to this place, and <laughs> Did you say to him, Mr. Beltrew? Sorry, Mrs. Bowen. 
O senhor está a pensar fazer? Não me viu fazer-lhe sinal ali atrás para parar? -se. Sabe qual é o limite de velocidade nesta estrada? O automóvel, caso que eu parar ali, não vai ver hoje à noite. Ah, são ingleses. Devia ter adivinhado. Sim, ele nearly assaulted our friend. Sim, ele queria fazer algo com H. O que foi isso? Você vai se calar. Tem sorte em um não mutar desta vez. Futuro, veja se tem mais cuidado. Ah, sorry? Perigosa. Inglês. Isto é um sítio difícil de encontrar esta hora e as estradas são perigosas. É melhor sair. Bom, saiam, por favor. Vamos e o meu colega seguirá depois do vosso automóvel. Vocês venham comigo. Mais cuidado a conduzir-se. Ah, e se vão dormir aqui, mantenham a porta bem fechada. Os ratos podem tornar-se muito esfomeados durante a noite. I could go on a nice holiday to Portugal and come home again afterwards. 
instead of being left to rot to death in a set of Midnight Express, <laughs> charged with geriatric pimping. <laughs> Put your leg muscles starting now. Oh, need to stretch my legs, I think. Yes. Well, I'm sure there'll be plenty of time for that when they put us on the rack. My God, you're not serious. Is it still legal to grot people over here? Well, let's hope so. I can't believe I let you take this kind of thing. It was so cruel. It's like something out of Roman times. How can you say it was cruel? The matador is in no real danger. If the bull gets too close, they stab it to death with swords. How can it be cruel? It's cruel to the bull. Cruel to the bull? Man, whose side are you on? We're on the side of decency and human compassion, that is it happens. All right. Of course, I forgot. My son, the compassionate welterweight, with no thirst for blood. Can you wonder that he lost 11 of his last 12 fights? Does that surprise anyone in this car? I had a run of bad luck. That's all it was. No. The reason is, do you want to know the reason? It's because you haven't got a killer instinct. 35 years in this business, I think I know what the game's about. It's about hate. You have to hate the person. You have to physically want to beat the living crap out of the man you're boxing. What it's not about, what it's not about, is stopping halfway through round five to inquire about his mother's arthritis. <laughs> Before this holiday is over, we're going to work on this attitude problem of yours. If I can make you dislike just one person to bring out that hidden aggression, it may just give me hope for your future. But many times, Dad, I don't have any hidden aggression. I never let people upset me. <laughs> See? Look at me. I'm Mr. Cool, which is something you should try sometime. I might live a bit longer. Sir. That manky old dump across the road. You know, the one the travel agent said was only being held together by cockroach droppings. What about it? There's a car outside. Must belong to them demolition people. No, look, the suitcases on the roof. My God. Do you know, I think they've actually conned someone into staying there. Must be some serious brain damage. <laughs> Mr. Meldrew. Oh, that... No, wait. I think I can see a string of rat wet sausages. Just <laughs> drinking a nice bit of this Of course it's all there is. It's a bloody lemon tree. What else do you expect to find on it? We haven't eaten in two days. Give it here. <laughs> I suppose there's no sign of life out there still. Oh, I can't make it out. There's no officers, no vehicles. The place is as quiet as a graveyard. Can't see much through these trees at all if it comes to that. I can just make out a sign on the gate, something. Da Quimada. Police station, is that? And some chickens. I mean, it can't be so remote. There's no one on duty in the hall. Yeah. <laughs> 
I locked it. I didn't lock it. It was locked. It was never locked. It was just a bit stiff. God, haven't you worked it out yet? Worked what out? Rula, da, quemida. Doesn't that ring any bells? This is our villa. Showed them the address. Don't you remember? We thought they were arresting us. They were just bringing us to the house. That other officer must have picked up the keys on the way from. 36 hours! We've spent wallowing in our own filth sucking lemons. <laughs> A charming villa to suit any couple, such as who? Bill Sykes and Nancy? <laughs> By the looks of it, we'll be lucky if it's got a bloody roof. <laughs> to meeting you in the flesh, long last. See you then, Afonso. Bye. I suppose this new aftershave is going to be launched on the public again today like chemical warfare, is it? I'll be putting it on in just a second, yes. It makes you smell like a donkey. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to risk this bed linen. This is where we bought some of our own. Did you bring that other case? Oh, there it is. I don't know where you get that from. I mean, I'm hardly likely to pay three pounds forty-seven for an aftershave that makes me smell like a donkey. I'm a perfectly good aftershave. I don't know why you've been such a downer on it. <laughs> when you brought the case down. <laughs> Did you take it out? I said I hadn't taken it out. You said you were going to do everything. Pack all the sheets and towels and it on Friday. I said, why do I have to do everything? I asked you to pack all the sheets and towels. <laughs> I need them all out on the spare bed ready. You must have seen them when you took the bloody thing down to the car. Well, I did. I on in bed now, is it? Ten years worth of access statements and a hundred copies of the visa? We even have to pay excess baggage to bring it here. <laughs> I'm sure we can happily find a use for this one. I'll just go and see if there's some cheese.
Demonstrate once by Susan Strength and Magpie. Did you? It would be all easier for Charles to use it. You sure you're all right, Dan? I'm so grateful. I don't know what to say. Yes, well, it's getting on, I think, and we don't want to keep your friend Alfonso waiting, do we? Perhaps you'd like to put her down now, Victor? You've just saved the woman from choking. You don't want to kill her with the aftershave. <laughs> Specific urethritis is not giving you too much trouble tonight, I hope. The scalding sensation is now improving a little, yes? Slightly, yes. <laughs> I feel as if I'm walking through a dream. To think that I actually hear after all these years. Shame we never got to meet Maria. Two years, is it now, since the accident? They never found her body, presumably. And I don't suppose they ever will. <laughs> My wife for 26 years. Sometimes she would walk home from the town along the cliff tops. It is a beautiful walk, but very dangerous, close to the edge. So many times I tell her to be careful, that the ground can so easily crumble beneath your feet like dry fruit cake, you know. But one day she goes into town. She never came back. They found one of her shoes on top of the cliffs. The other on the rocks below. A torn piece of her dress caught on some driftwood. The current must have swept her far out to sea. Three weeks later, off the Estoril coast, two skin divers find an octopus holding a Gucci handbag. <laughs> I know it is hot. She is gone forever. Three weeks' time would have been her 53rd birthday. Just before you, is that? <laughs> she was 60 next month. Can I ever forget it? <laughs> oh, I may have moved. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh, it's a little roll finished. They seem to have a bag full of these things. I don't know where they all come from suddenly. It's been a terrific evening, Alfonso. I'm afraid I've been in love with your house. May we take it back with us? Of course. But you will find it is far too big for one person. For two, perhaps. Not so bad. <laughs> 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 
time is beyond me. Tomorrow you will ring me, Jean, and I show you the wonders of the Algarve. And perhaps we take you scuba diving, Victor. Yes. Have you got any concrete flippers? Nothing to tell you about, sir. Good night. Good night. Bye, Alfonso. And thank you again. You two seem to get on like a house on fire. Really? It must have been a terrible ordeal for him losing his wife like that. He obviously loved her very much. Did you think so? What do you mean? Just thought it was a bit odd, that's all. He showed us around every room. There wasn't a single photograph of her in the house. No. No, I've actually managed to lay my hands on it again as such. But it must be around here somewhere. You know, ten to one, it's in her own bag. In which case, I'll um, have to pick my moment. Listen, you get that front page ready for Sunday, and you better wear asbestos gloves, because these pictures are hot. Talk to you soon. <laughs> I must have been a big disappointment. Yes, I expect so. What is it supposed to mean? Sorry? Go to bed. The skin's gone all dry now. I should put something on my face. Try a pillow. <laughs> down near the bathroom door. <laughs> I was, was I? What? A disappointment. I think you know the answer to that as well as I do. <sighs> it's funny. In the first few months after Chris left, I was almost ready to drink the Domestos. <laughs> it never occurred to me that one day I might Listen to me, like some sort of silly schoolgirl. <laughs> Have a good night, Jean. See you in the morning. Night, Margaret. <sighs> you know, this place isn't as bad as all that, really. <sighs> Once you get used to it, Sorry, Mr. Meldrew. Night, Mrs. Wombard. Night. <laughs> Might get some of these developed today if we can find somewhere. What time are you seeing up on, sir? We said ten at the golf house. So if you just drop me at the bus stop, I'll be fine. Well, here he comes, the silver surfer. <laughs> you two ready? We've been ready for half an hour. We were waiting for you to finish faffing about up there. We just passed you on both up there.
of your shoes, because that's the only angle the camera ever see you from. Oh, hello. What have you brought me this time? Some roast beef and Yorkshire pudding? Yes. Mm. Thank you. Oh, you're wonderful, Dad. And you're doing a wonderful job trying to wind me up, because unfortunately, I'm on my holiday. Nobody in the world is going to upset me. But can you understand that? So that was a... Why can't we just accept it, Humphrey? Your son is a really sane and sensitive individual. And that kind of self control is a really bad quality in his hands. You know, I think this behavior is going to be, it's not you or anyone else can possibly phase him out. the lady from the shoe shop. Oh, yes. Head first, evidently. <laughs> what did she have stuck in her throat this time? Your tongue? Thank you. What the hell's that supposed to mean? She just stopped by to say thank you for that episode. And I'll see you back at the car. Thank <laughs> you. 
said you should have come to the golf with us. You want to see Alfonso swing oh, like poetry in motion. Oh, there's another roll to put in, by the way. Uh, did you find a shop for the others? I forgot every word about it, actually. Better start getting ready. I've only got three hours. Are you sure you won't change your mind about tonight? It's supposed to be a lovely drive, right up through the mountains. And Alfonso said the food is out of this world. Now, you and Victor go. I'm not really in the mood. Mm. Of course, a good detective show. I love them. The Poirots and Miss Marples. It's something I think we always do much better than the Americans. Uh, apart from Colombo, of course. You have to admire the way they, they get all that period detail of the 70s exactly right like that. It's a real credit to them. <gasps> all that period detail. It's because they were made in the 70s. <laughs> the Colombos. You're drunk and we haven't started eating yet. And then again, none of it's as grisly as real life, is it? Oh, you remember that case in Ostrich Gardens? Man with one arm went off with that girl from Do It All. They fell in love while he was changing a light bulb. <laughs> well, he was a nasty piece of work from all accounts. Sure, you can't change a light bulb if you've only got one arm. You can if you've still got the receipt. <laughs> they reckon he did his button and finished. Drowned her in the bath, with Charlie Chester turned up loud to come and scream. Then buried the body under the dark tent in the back garden and made out she just got it. For God's sake, we'll stop this. I'm sorry. When you talk of drowning, the memory is still very painful. Forgive me, I should not have shouted. Oh, no, 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 no. It was my fault. I don't know what I was thinking of. Yes, I, I had made up my mind. I can hardly keep my eyes open. <laughs> Go back now, Jean, and sleep well. And I... We'll call you in the morning. Night, Alfonso, night! Night!
be a second. Phone. Ring the Coast Guard quick as you can. For God's sake, be careful. He say he's very sorry to bring you here under such circumstances. He say to prepare yourself, as it is not a very pleasant sight. Tanto quanto sabemos o pé da senhora foi engolido por um tubarão. He say it appears that her foot was bitten off by a shark. 
Oh, my God. He say a fisherman from Porsches found it in the stomach of a dead barracuda. Now I try to find out who it belongs to. Find out who it What is this? Are you version of Cinderella by David Lynch? I'm as upset enough as it is without you shoving these crazy atrocities like this under her. Oh, no, just a minute. That's not her foot. What do you mean? She had a large bunion on her big toe. She showed it to me two months ago. Are you sure? And she always cuts her toenails neater than that. No, I'm positive. Whoever this belonged to, it definitely wasn't Jean. Ah, Agency. I just cannot believe she was left there like that. In that condition. Next to a complete sheer drop. In total darkness. Yes. Yeah, no point blaming herself. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you to have trust her up in a sack and throw her in a fuck. Yes. You have never liked the woman as long as you've known her. Do you? She was just a gibbering old bat who called round twice a week to polish off our digestive biscuits. A plague of locusts with earrings, was it? You called her? You never took a thing she said seriously. Or had so much as a civil word for her. Well, I just hope you're satisfied. Who's that? Oh, bugger off, I didn't know. Thank you very much. Gee! Fisherman's offered to drive him over, so. Oh, can't believe it. So, how did he sound? Oh, he sounded tired, I suppose. Maybe he'll grab some sleep on the way back. Now, now, now!
Water's not heating up properly in that tap now. I think it must be a fault in the boiler. Do you know anything about it? Oh, God. And that fault, I'd see you again. How do you feel? How do I feel? I just spent seven hours of total sensory deprivation throwing up and pulling live herrings out of my underpants. <laughs> Only to be driven back here by a trained chimp inside a vehicle with all the comfort of a runaway cement mixer. All because wacky races across the road tells me someone's fallen into the sea when all that's happened is her bloody shoes cut off. <laughs> you want to know how I feel. In words of one song syllable, this is how I feel. Hugo? Yes, yes, you can do it. Go, 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 go. It's in there. I always knew it was in there. I'm going to bath. <laughs> I expect so. I might go to for a to have a look over the road later on the last night and everything. Right! So, there. Obviously, you would like some time. I cannot expect you to give an answer right away. Oh. <laughs> I know it's barely a week since we met face to face, but of course, over the years already, I've. I feel I've got to know you. I'm sorry. It will be that business call. Please forgive me, Jean. My mouth's gone quite dry. I can't get us a refill. No, fair is fair. They are, I've much you about. They are, I understand. I have much you about. Tell you what I'll do. New offer. I'm prepared to let you have it for a hundred grand. Less the cost of processing and developing, which, uh, according to my notes here, comes to £999,995.67, p or about five quid for every bone I've ever broken in my body getting the bloody thing back. Yeah, should, should be here in a second, yeah. Yeah, on its way. Hot from the presses. Obrigado. Yes, sir. You'll be pleased to hear that I have in my hand the merchandise. Print and negatives of a set of photographs that is going to send shockwaves throughout the... <laughs> Bloody hell's this? This isn't the film I gave you. What are you trying to do to me? Essa é o roupa que o senhor me deu para levar. O que é que eu havia de querer enganar? Essas são as fotografias que estavam nele. Eu não tenho culpa. Oh, no. Is it some kind of cruel joke? It's coming back to me now. For some reason, she never had it in the first place. Because it never fell on the floor in the first place. Because I've already put it back in my pocket. I have traveled halfway across bloody Europe. 
practically half killed looking for a roll of film that all the time was inside the lighting of my own bleeding jacket. <laughs> One on the cliff, one on the rocks. That's how they were found. Please put them down, Jean. These are the shoes she was wearing the day she fell. No, I don't think she did fall from that cliff at all. What are you trying? Look. Can't you see? Couldn't anyone see what's staring you in the face? I... I... They're both left shoes. Both? But that isn't possible. They're from two different pairs. They're not identical, but they're quite similar enough for someone in a hurry to pick them both up, thinking they went together and plant them on the cliff with the torn dress to make it look as if there'd been an accident. No woman would ever have made this mistake, I thought so. Pilot went after something. Your dad's having a look at it now. Mm. 
Just in business. Oh, shit. I'll get it. Oh, hello. Um, I, uh... Is your husband in? I think I owe an apology for last night and everything. He's in the bath at the moment. He'd just like to wait a sec. Shirley! Have you been out in here? Hang on! We need it in the kitchen. professional boxer. Can't wonder he went berserk. I should think that's the first time a donkey's ever been floored with a left hook. How's that going down? All right. Can you manage any more or... feeling Alfonso might propose to her today. Perhaps I'll just give them a quick ring. Jean? It's funny. 
how you can go on deceiving yourself. Ignoring what your insides have been telling you all the time. Was... Whenever I mentioned her name, something happened to his eyes. Suddenly he wasn't looking at me anymore. He was looking through me. Back to another world. A world he could never recapture. When I saw the shoes, that's when I started to guess that the whole thing was an invention. The torn dress and the rocks, even the handbag in the sea, it all added up to one thing. His wife had faked her own death to go and live with someone else. Faked her own death? Afonso worshipped Maria. She was his life. She knew that if she just ran away, he'd only come after her, hound her to the end of his days. She had to make him believe she was gone forever. Well, even at the suggestion another man had been in the house, helping her to plant the evidence, it was as if I wasn't there anymore. Everything that was sacred to her memory, he'd kept hidden away in the cellar. He just couldn't let go. He started searching and through all her belongings for, for some sort of clue. He said he had to know for certain if it was true. And suddenly he remembered. A few years before, a business trip she'd made to Faro to see a male colleague. At the time, he half suspected she might have been... From somewhere, he found a phone number and... Of course, who should answer it but... Bunny. You must. You must. You must. After that, there was no reasoning with him. He said he needed some time to himself now. That it wouldn't change anything between the two of us wait a couple of days and he'd call me and we'd pick up where we left off. And I knew then I'd never see him again. I'm sorry I was in a bit of a state when I got back last night. I'm afraid it's all rather knocked me for six. I find that that almost come out of your mind. But you probably look like a listener for your time, you know, it's a thing trying to you, and then you turn back from the bed. You never said a truer word, Mr. Meldrum. <laughs> and I appreciate that very much. I wasn't all that keen on coming to Portugal at first. But now that we're about to leave, I never want to see the bloody place again as long as I live. <laughs> yes, that's the good thing about having a really miserable holiday. It makes the going home such a positive joy. <laughs> when the last time I got back from a holiday abroad to find our house had been demolished. Oh, yes. Fanny, you can laugh about it now, can't you? <laughs> I suppose you can't really. Well, I guess we'll 
have to look lively in a minute. We've got a long drive back to the airport. Make sure I've got my passport and everything. Oh, yes, I haven't seen those yet, have I? Is that another album's worth? Uh, yes. And that ran a film, you know. We thought we'd lost. Found it in the car yesterday. Must have fallen out of someone's pocket or something when they were in the back seat. Now, if I'm right, these should start the day we drove down through the mountains. Where are we? What is it? What's wrong? What is that? Oh, surely not. Was it someone who just looks like him? for the bill. Time's getting on. Uh, uh, quanto, por favor. I've got some Portuguese money. I'm sure. Tell me I am well past my prime The landlord in the sky's calling time But there's one thing that he ought to know I am not yet ready to go So I'm a wrinkly, crinkly, but don't shed a tear I'm not exactly a little old dear One thing's for sure, I'm still bloody well here One foot in the grave One foot in the grave
Clement's Martian Trout, but he may not be quite so busy. Uh, yeah, I've got it. Yeah, the lot that works. Him and her together, yeah. No, no, uh, by the pool, what's the place in the country? Yeah, tongues in a reef knot. Yeah, at one point he did that. There's his tail and nose. Yes. Look, this is thermonuclear. Perfume doesn't come into it. My battery's going a bit low, so uh, I'll give you a buzz back when uh, I'll get to Victoria. OK? Bye. Sorry about this. Uh, oh, geez. No, it must be in there somewhere. Oh. Anyway, you will. Oh. Yeah, I must have slipped through a hole in the line. Yeah, cheer up. I just have myself a hundred thousand quid. Uh, oh, Give me 80. 80 nothing. You agree to 100 sight unseen. 100 if a story checked out. Don't mess me around, John. Look, I'm holding in my hand a little stick of dynamite that will blow this country apart. If you're not interested, I have a little phone number in Wapping. I'm sure they... Yes, that's your idea. Hello! Hey, can you put well, me through to your personal uh, ladies' kind of department? The ladies' department? Yeah, on, 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 on the your desk. Department. Department. Sorry, I couldn't No, 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 I don't want personal. I don't want personal. I want to complain yeah, about well, your I'll products. I'll just come in here to Yes, yes, there is now. Hang on a second. Hello? Hello? Yes, they were. 55 bloody pounds they cost me, 55! Put them on brand new this morning to go and hold in what happens? I'll show what bloody well happens. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> you hear that? They're like talking about the dead halibuts of your foot. <laughs> I've never in all my life known such shoddy bloody work. Who are you? Superman's granddad. <laughs> Says my mercury facility and use my. My Portuguese. We've been writing to each other for 13 years, it must be now, but never got round to meeting. The engines have stopped. Why, they don't know. Just completely cut out altogether. And then, 
a couple of years ago, he lost his wife. But I recently got divorced, and we both thought it was a good chance to take the plunge. Might have a venture for you. Oh my God, Files, did you hear that? What is it now? I just overheard one of those stewardesses whispering to her colleague, we're all doomed. I swear I did. It went by just then. There's no one else panicking. Of course. I'd be a bit nervous about going over there on my own. So the three of us decided to rent a little villa and have a bit of a holiday for a couple of weeks. Who's that? Who heard that just then? Oh, spare us. That noise, like the sound of a wing coming loose. <laughs> there was the sound of someone being hit over the head with a bottle of duty-free scotch in a minute. For God's sake, get over and try going to sleep or something. How can I go to sleep with all this turbulence? <laughs> How could we have turbulence? We haven't left the bloody runway yet. <laughs> It'll be a hundred times 